official start. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Joe Maldonado here with Gloria Danvers and we are talking today about Are You a Witch? Gloria, welcome. Thank you for having me, Joe. I love these. Oh, me too. They're, they're so much fun. We get, we really get into like the nitty gritty of stuff. From, and I just, think so. It's fun. You know, I, I think that uh, you get into a lot of the what's behind the scenes and what the roots of things are. And Absolutely. That wasn't a joke, roots. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> roots of the hair that need to be done. I get it. <laughs> um, so the topic is, are you a witch? It's a very right. broad topic. It's like so many things that, um, you know, that this could encompass. So let's start first with the term witch activator. Uh, for those that do not know what that is, um, could you explain that a little bit, please? Sure. Uh, probably over the course of my life, starting when I was 15, I probably mentored at least 100 or 150 witches. Mm -hmm. And most of them did not know they were witches until we met. Mm -hmm. So if I had to say, uh, something about myself as a witch activator, it would be that the energy that makes me a witch is so comfortable and so enticing. I mean, think Pied Piper. Yeah. That it automatically pulls people into my space to yeah. make them comfortable in expressing who they are. Because there's an energy that fills you up. If you believe that you're part of the universe mm -hmm. physics, then you have to know that 99.9% .9 of you or even more is nothing but space. Mm -hmm. So what fills that space is, is the drive in a witch to express itself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And I'm very comfortable expressing myself in, in a joyous fashion. Mm -hmm. So people that, that have the seeds to be a witch, feel witchy, feel, you know, a lot of times they don't know what to feel or even what to call it, but they are drawn mm -hmm. to me, mm -hmm. you know? And then it's a simple process of, of finding out what, what their gifts are, what they think, what they feel, and then watering that and mm -hmm. letting them express that and then watching mm -hmm. it flower into whatever mm -hmm. it's going to be. Wow. So that, that's a lot of stuff right there. So I'd like to go into this part. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, as you know, I, I mean, I, I am not one to hold titles or descriptives or names sure. to something. So if someone were to ask me, am I a witch? I'd go, okay. You know, or are you a sorcerer? Okay, you a healer? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, you know, it's to me, it's in a word, but it is also what you embrace. Um, right. What you know, what what resonates with you. So, in your mind, okay, in your world, can you explain to us what is a witch? A witch is a channel. You know, I think that I, I, uh, I mentioned on, on one of our previous teas that I have an acronym mm -hmm. for witches. Mm -hmm. And that's simply as somebody who's, wis who's wise, wisdom, mm -hmm. intuition, mm -hmm. a teacher, a channel, and a healer. Mm -hmm. All of those things. And those things alone encompass a really broad spectrum mm -hmm. of what it means to be a witch. Mm -hmm. So it's... It, it broad spectrum i think that is that is um broad spectrum broad descriptive um is a really good thing um so let's go there so for example um you come across someone um you're the activator um you know so people are just drawn to you because this is you this is who you are you are so comfortable in that um you know whereas i would say oh well i'm not not sure, you know, it's the, the proper European way to be, perhaps I'm not, perhaps I'm this. Oh, no, you not step at all. In, yeah, but you step into who you are is, is right. where I'm going with this and you embrace it. So being that comfortable with it, how do you make others feel as comfortable as you are once they okay. know? If you, if you believe that vibration tunes vibration, mm -hmm then my vibration automatically tunes them mm -hmm. because because most people have a lot of discomfort owing to to their judeo-christian beliefs i mean it's really been dangerous for thousands of years to be yes. a witch to claim yourself yes. as a witch and i don't know if you know this but but even in the in africa and the middle east you know somebody was executed in saudi arabia as recently as 10 years ago for mm -hmm. witchcraft that's only 10 years ago mm -hmm. 
So we, a lot of people, you know, I call them the Michaels witches, you know, no offense to Michaels. Or yeah, witches, right, right. You know, think that it's great to, you know, I mean, I love to dress up in black. I like to wear pointy hats. I like my cat and my crystals, my altar, all of that stuff. But really it's so much more than that. And when you embrace all that you are completely, mm -hmm. your vibration tunes other people up. And that's my gift. That's yes. my that is my particular gift as a witch. Yeah. I have the gift of, of words. I have the gift of, of people being able to, you know, put, yank their bra off in front of me and just like, that, man. <laughs> Hasn't happened with me yet, but okay. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I, I'm waiting for the day. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's simply a matter of being so comfortable with who I am and so joyous in my own affect mm. that they see now that this is not a scary thing. This isn't, mm. You know that 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 it's that it's beautiful and mm -hmm. that you're just this beautiful channel for mm -hmm. however witchcraft wants to express itself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know you mentioned um the concept of witches in the past and right. and that is um you know that that's very troublesome i find it as close to as uh when i was younger and then maybe 20 30 years ago with my mother you know having that concept of a witch was a very bad thing it's right. like the most evil cursed thing that you could think so whenever she was mad at me you know she would say you're nothing but a witch and then i go oh, oh my god you know so how often i know you said as as soon as 10 years ago but how often do you come across that with with um you know the people that you meet that you know, are, are becoming into their own witchy self um, that are still kind of plagued, um, you know, with this concept of the negative witch, the bad, the bad image of it. I All the time. Like all I said, vibration brings in vibration. Yeah. You know, I, I've been sitting in restaurants and bars. I've been out networking for my business and will inevitably mm -hmm. sit next to the person that 10 minutes after conversation says, you know, sometimes I just think I'm a witch and my brain goes ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes up, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm a big believer in the law of attraction. And I think that that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It is, it is, or namaste, right? The divine in me honors the divine in you. Divine in you, yes. yes. Sure. I was on a plane one time with my daughter going to California and uh, I pointed a woman out in, in uh, you know, a couple of rows in front of us. And I said, that woman's a witch. And Leila said, oh, mommy, how do you know? I said, because we know each other. And she ended up being the owner of the dragon in the Phoenix in Atlanta, which was a big <laughs> witch's store. You know, we know each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? I think there's like a certain energetic connection that happens. Sure. The way I would describe sure. it, you know. It's exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a spooky person. I am a mom. I'm a grandmother. I'm a loving yeah. person i mean if you want to think of a witch what's a better antidote to your fear yeah than being with someone like me who is so loving and so yeah. so embracing and so so happy to be a witch and to use my energy to make other people's lives better that's yeah. something that everybody can can get behind yeah yeah absolutely absolutely um so being a witch um tell me a little bit about this class that you're teaching that's coming up um right how is that going to activate the inner witch in in folks that are coming to that class well you know part of you, you know i'm a hypnotherapist right so part of the class is absolutely going to be uh a, a, a hip a, you know a hypnosis meditation right right but the mind works in archetypes that's why there's so many gods and so many goddesses and the pantheon of what we choose to put on our altars every god and every goddess has attributes that we take on as as witches yeah so so they're very archetypal but what we don't realize is that all of the these archetypes really spring from 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 a human wellspring it's not coming from the universe these are all archetypes that you hold inside you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the way, you know, and the title is very flip, you know, flip the switch on your inner witch. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, actually, it's an exercise in, in pulling up your own archetype and then studying him or her mm -hmm. to, to see, you know, a, a lot of witches will say, I don't know what my path is. I don't want to know what my gift is. And they're looking, 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 looking outside all the time. And outside is great. Mm -hmm. You know, books on herbs are great. Teachers are great. Classes are great. 
but that is not going to give you your path. Your path is, is being held inside yeah. by the archetype of you, the sacred archetype of you as a witch. Yeah. Yeah. So in this, so in this hypnosis, I will, you know, bring everybody down into that place where they can explore their own archetype. And some of the questions I would be asking is look at yourself. What do you notice? Mm -hmm. uh, what are you holding in your left hand? What are you holding in your right hand? Yeah. Because your, your, that, that energy, your, your, your witchy channel yeah. is going to bring up those, those pictures for you. Yeah. Yeah. Because they are archetypal. Yeah. You know, if you see yourself as, as series, you know, with a sheaf of wheat in one hand and a sickle in the other hand, you know, there's all these different archetypes that we aspire to, and they all come from inside. Yeah. So we can get a really good idea of exactly who we are as witches by paying attention to our own inner image, mm -hmm. who we are. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. And I know I have done hypnosis with you and it's an amazing experience. Um, you know, things surface that you, you went, oh, wow, where did that come from? But, and when you come out of the session, the hypnosis, it's amazing. And, you know, for all those that perhaps have not had um, a hypnosis session um, and certainly have not had it with Gloria, it's, it's a very unique experience. Um, because she applies her gifts, she applies her intuition and her training, you know, and what she's doing. So it's not just let's do a hypnosis and become who we're supposed to be. It goes much further than that. Um, you had mentioned, you know, that doing crystals and, and doing, you know, herbs and all that is fine and good. And, you know, I was I was looking for a you know, like an image, a photograph, you know, to use for the class that you're teaching. And, you know, I just came up with, well, you know, it's a combination of all of it. It is, it is using, you know, taking your toolbox, using that what you have learned. And then I think finding that you now have a path that you're transitioning to. And whether you call it which, now I got a, I got a question. Um, I can interrupt myself and say, is there such a thing as a male witch? Sure. Okay. All he's got to do is claim it. Listen, you know, you let, let's compare it to this. Okay. So suppose you're gay and all your life you've been in this little tiny town where no one accepts you and you struggle and you know, you're different and you try to fit in, but you can't fit in. And one day you just get gobsmacked and say, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. I am gay. And all of a sudden, a million doors open up mm -hmm. in your mind and in your life yeah. that were never in the physical at that time. Yeah. yeah. Claiming something is the most powerful thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in the old days, the men would have to claim their children. Literally, if the, the male of the house did not claim this child, then the child didn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. So so look at it that way. Saying this to yourself and claiming this is the most powerful thing that you could ever do because the word, again, words are so powerful. It's the breath of life. I mean, that's my gift, yeah. words, and I understand how powerful they are. Yes, words have acknowledgement energy. out loud of who you are is enough to blast open a million doors in the universe of your subconscious because the universe of your sub subconscious doesn't have any boundaries. Yeah, there yeah. are no walls. All there are, are endless, endless doors. And every time you claim a part of yourself, it literally blasts open all of these doors that were just hazy shadows before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I um I love when you have that experience. When I have that experience, yeah. you know, when you have it's the it's the aha moment where you go, uh -huh. I get it, I get it. So you know, and I know this particular phase right now um, of time that we're in is i want to say a time of transition uh of shifting of shape shifting you know changing things around and i i love the fact that we're offering this class you know um so soon uh it's actually june um uh, and let me see let me check the date for everybody it is june 4th at 11 a.m um I love the fact that we're offering it right at this time. So whether whether you want to give yourself the title of witch or you or, or or magical person or that one which has been enlightened today, I mean you can come up with a whole bunch of names. But I think 
I think that anybody that is on this call actually right now or is listening to this recording most definitely has an inner something that needs to be awakened, that needs to be channeled and run a little bit. And I know you and I have spoken about doing other classes in the fall slash winter of this year. So, and we will be posting them, um, you know, and well, when we get it together, <laughs> yeah, we have it together now, actually, but we will be posting. There's something I want to say about, about witches and about now, mm -hmm. you know, witchcraft isn't always about the traditional old ways, uh -huh. you know, and a lot of witches would disagree with me, but since we all have a different concept of what a witch is, I feel very free in saying this, you know, over the past 20 or 30 years, the world has opened up, whereas before in the old days, you, you were the witch of herbs and healing and crystals yes. and, and being a psychic. Uh -huh. I mean, you bring, you bring that gift to, to being a, mm -hmm. to being a, a, a computer program writer. Right. To right. Coping. Right. to law to finance yeah. there is no limit yeah. to what you can bring your craft to you know and since you know it the old ways the traditional ways are beautiful and they really make people feel in touch with their power you know but it's not all there is and as the world evolves you know, witches can be free to evolve that way also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and then there's, of, of course, there's so many types of witches, you know, the, right. the hearth witch, you know, blah, you know, and on and on and on. I, 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 and again, you know, I am not one to, you know, grab and tag a name and hold on to it. But I, again, I ultimately think that um, there is an awakening that happens and whatever name you want to call yourself, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it just, it will resonate with you. And right. when, when it resonates with you, you will embrace it. And when you embrace it, you will find this, this tremendous burst of light, you know, that other people um, will also feel. And, and the light is the energy is what I'm talking about, you know, because right. you, you just, you resonate on this level. And as you do that and you're floating through it, other people are going to go, oh, yeah, she's that's a buddy. How it works. You know, and that's how, exactly how it works. Um, I wanted to open up for questions because um, sure. I know we don't have, uh, you know, we usually do a question um, after the recording, but today right. we're a little bit short on time. So I know that there's a comment in here. Um, I do Candace's newsletter for the Phoenix and the Dragon. So there you go. Someone. Oh, you know, hey, really? Yeah. I haven't seen her in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> so yay. Um, yay for that. Um, yeah. and then also there's a Candace comment. Is awesome. Um, what was that? I said Candace is awesome. She's the one I met on the plane to San Francisco. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, right? Um, yep. um, then I have another comment. I'm not quite sure. Maybe you understand. God's by the bushel. God's by the pound. God's for all occasions. So um, I'm not quite sure what that means, but maybe there's a God for everybody. Is that what that sure, means? There's a God for everything and everyone. You know, there's a, there, there is a, a, everything has a divine nature. Yes. Right. So you can call it a God or a goddess or you know, it, it, it's helpful to people to put it in human terms. Yes. So yes. in that aspect, I agree with Will. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to end the recording now and um, say everybody else stay on. Um, and then we're just we're going to keep going live and then you can open up your mics and your cameras and then we can talk a little bit to Gloria. All right. So as far as the recording is concerned, thank you, everybody, for listening. Stay tuned. And don't forget, we have a new department called Witchy Ways now. So see you soon. Thank you.